Welcome to Telltale Books. In this video, I want to acknowledge the birthday of one of the top science fiction writers of the 1970s, Ian Watson. He's a British writer. He was born on this date, April 20th, in 1943. This being April 20th, 2023, it's his 80th birthday, and he is still with us. He is still writing and publishing. Um, today, April 20th, 2023, he is releasing a new short story collection, which I do have pre-ordered, um, The Chinese Time Machine, which is kind of appropriate for what I've chosen as the subject for this birthday um, celebration. And that is, I, I chose to read and want to talk about his novelette, The Very Slow Time Machine. Now, Ian Watson started writing in the late 1960s and published his first novel, The Embedding, in 1973. And his, if I recall correctly, his first four novels made quite an impact in the science fiction community. And in 1978, he published The Very Slow Time Machine in a book called Anticipations, an anthology edited by Christopher Priest, another British science fiction writer of, of the 60s and 70s, who was really, really good. In the very slow time machine, you start out in a scientific lab laboratory where all of a sudden there's a rush of air and this object appears out of nowhere a machine metal machine um, but it's it's contained there's a little window in it they look in the window and they see there's a man inside but he's rather insane and the machine doesn't go any go away or do anything and he doesn't come out they kind of just leave it and just keep observing it to see what happens. And over time, watching, you know, looking in on him, checking in on him, they realize he's moving backwards in time. And that when they saw him arrive, that was actually when he left. And they do some deductive reasoning to figure out that he must have first appeared you know, based on his guesstimated age, that he must have first appeared somewhere in the 2000s, you know, like around 2010 or something like that. So they keep monitoring him through the years. The machine first appears 1985. They keep monitoring him through the years. And every so often he holds up signs, which eventually they realize he's explaining things to him, which is difficult for him because he has to explain everything in reverse. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the story because it's a brilliant story and really, really worth reading. I think it's one of the greatest science fiction stories, especially for time travel. It has some extremely interesting ideas. And it's just a really well-written story. So that's where I end my synopsis. Now, um, like I say, th this I have I have this story in Ian Watson's paperback Ace collection from 1979, titled "The Very Slow Time Machine," with this amazing Paul Alexander illustration on the cover. I didn't know who Ian Watson was when I saw this book in the bookstore. I picked it up and bought it because of the illustration and because of this title, The Very Slow Time Machine. I wanted to know what that was about. And I'm glad I did because this is an awesome short story collection. I don't believe this is in print, but I would encourage you to seek out a used copy if you can. and and read it because it's it's one of my favorites 
And the Very Slow Time Machine really blew my mind back then and now. Rereading it for this birthday celebration, I, I just, I can't say enough of how that story just blew my mind. It's, it's a great idea, a really cool twist on the idea of time travel. And it's, it's a novelette, and I feel that is the perfect length for this story. I, I don't want more story to it. I don't want less story to it. I, I don't want stronger characters. It's not really a character story, just so you know. Um, it doesn't get deep into characterization, but this is more of your traditional science fiction idea story. But for what it is in the space allowed, the characters are well written. You know, you just don't get fleshed out backstories for anybody. So, top tail, definitely. And I recommend this. I think if you like science fiction, if you like time travel stories, you would be well advised to seek this story out and read it. And, and seek this book out, add it to your collection. I don't know if... Let me look that up a minute. The Very Slow Time Machine has been collected to a lot of other places. Um, you'll have to pay for them. It's not public domain. Uh, but lots of lots of books you can find in, in used sources. It was in the Best Science Fiction of the Year, number 8, edited by Terry Carr, which I agree with. It, sh it is one of the best of that year. Um, the Ascent of Wonder... By, edited by Catherine Kramer and David G. Hartwell. Um, Tales in Time, edited by Peter Crowther and published by White Wolf Publishing. And the Very Slow Time Machine collection was reprinted in 2011 by Gateway Orion. So you might be able to find a copy still, in, especially in British... Um, book websites also appeared in the mammoth book of time travel sf edited by mike ashley which would be a really good book to get and i'm fairly sure that would be available it was also in the best of ian watson published by ps publishing in 2014 so it's been collected and anthologized quite a few times over the years which makes sense because this is a great science fiction story so if you if you've read it if you haven't read it if you just have anything you want to say please leave a comment on this video I will read it I will try to respond with something even if all I can think of is to say thanks at least I'll put something there and uh, like us and subscribe us come on back if you really like us go to go to our patreon account and help us out and uh, I'll see you next time.